before I touch this arm, I cross face. And when I cross face, I'm gonna match where my tape is right there. It matches perfect to here. Now I change my base. I go inside the ankle, like I showed you. Inside here is where I'm grabbing that way on this side. And I'm gonna even look 45 degrees to make sure this is where I go. Before I drive off this leg, this hand has to drop to the elbow and suck it in. I lift the leg and drive across and shoot onto the neck. If you feel like you're not tight enough, just walk, a little, walk, a little adjustment. But my right knee must come up quickly because if I try to do this, just walk with me. You got nothing, nothing. So I jam my knee into the hip to control there. Okay, I put my hand here like a target. Itsy bitsy spider, we're listening for a noise. Everybody makes it. There it is. It doesn't take much. The spine's being compressed, everything's being twisted. Plus I'm laying on his diaphragm. That hand stays there. Come underneath, cable grip, put my face over top. My hands and arms come off the ground to my face. It barely comes off the ground, okay? One other quick adjustment, the bow and arrow from here, is to shoot under quickly. Now when you do this, try not to hit the foot. Hit with your bicep, like you're doing an outside single. If I grab with my hand, kick out, I can't win that. But if I'm doing it like an outside single, with my bicep, kick out, not gonna happen. Bring it up, now start walking together. Takes no energy. Okay, maximum efficiency, right? So I'm gonna try and take a little pressure off there because this is this is pretty miserable. So as you've seen the grip I had, I was with a gable. I'm gonna maintain my gable right now and maintain pressure on this shoulder so the arm stays stuck till I get to my, my daisy loop, which is basically a you know, daisy popper and a loop choke together. I'm keeping that tight, elbow tight to the body, pressuring the shoulder, knee sneaks on, my little low belly over to here. Okay. When I'm coming over, I'm starting to dig my shoulder under the chin. This isn't good enough yet. I pike up and I use my body weight to drive through to create the neck crank. Okay, this hand stays here. I stay heavy, but I need to change something real quick. If I just release and I have no base, I don't, I don't have my, or I move a post, he's gonna, he's gonna bridge me off. So I'm gonna hook this leg right here and grapevine it so he can't bridge that leg and take me to his right when I take this arm and come through here to lift. Now I switch to the power choke grip because I can take a lot of slack out of that. One thing to remember guys, keep your head on here. Because if I'm right here, pull your arm out, very easy. Do it again. I just lay my head on here, go. I'm just laying my head. It's just compromising the joint, right? Now let's put something on it. I drop my shoulder again. My side choke's in position for the most part, but not all the way. Squeeze tight, block the inside hip because his defense is to roll away. Make sure this foot is off the ground, butt in the air, squeeze here, and drive down and forward for a very quick choke and neck crank. 